Like a daffodil. That's a good idea. Okay, like this, yeah? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I say just freehand it. You I'm freehanding now. <laughs> Hi, we're here making crafts with Saturday Night Live's A.D. Bryant. Uh, she's here promoting her new film, Darby Forever, uh, which comes out today on Vimeo. Yeah! Um, and so we're gonna be making some tissue paper bouquets um, because Darby Forever takes place in a craft store. And you true. are a craft aficionado, right? I'm like a wannabe craft aficionado. A wannabe. <laughs> All right, so can you tell me a little bit about what inspired the idea? Yeah, so, when I lived in Chicago, I would go to this like very small, dusty, <laughs> kind of gross craft store. And there was this lady who would cut the fabric who was always kind of like, what are you, what are you gonna do with this fabric? And so then I would just kind of say like, oh, you know, I'm doing a show at Second City. And she would get this like little like, <laughs> oh, showbiz. <laughs> so that's what most of the little daydreams are like, alternate life paths right. that she could have taken. <laughs> No matter what our job is, we all kind of do that. Totally. This is a part of uh, Vimeo's Share the Screen project, which yeah. is this initiative to kind of promote female filmmakers. Yeah, and help female filmmakers kind of make their project, I think, without, uh, in their own way. Have you found that like having women kind of behind the camera and around, yeah. uh, you know, on the crew, does that change the dynamic of how yeah. you work or just how it I feels mean, in general? I absolutely feel like the film comes from a female perspective because I wrote it, you right. know? And I think that that adds like texture and thought that maybe wouldn't be there if like a man wrote this right. story or something. But I also think like it was such a team effort of right. like men and women and, and all types of people that like, it was really like special in that way. We're gonna, now we're gonna get real. Okay. Um, so <laughs> As if this wasn't real <laughs> enough. Oh, I feel like mine just looks like a bow tie. Yours is getting good though. When you lift that baby up, he's gonna be rolling. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I'll wear this <laughs> to the Emmys or something. So Darby Forever is um, kind of a film about this woman's fantasy life. So we're gonna play like the ultimate, alternate reality game. Ooh. Uh, we're gonna play a little Would You Rather? Are you up for it? Yeah, I'm up for it. Star in a Lifetime movie oh, or God. win an Oscar? Star in a Lifetime movie, <laughs> a thousand percent. I love Lifetime movies. I'm obsessed with them. Oh, so Lifetime, right. easy answer. Yes, um, sorry Oscars. <laughs> would you rather work in a craft store or be in a punk rock band? Ooh, that is actually a tough question to me. But maybe a punk band? Sure. My whole life is just trying to pretend to be Beth Ditto. <laughs> I love her. I, like and I, all just, I know, it. I just am pretending, so. Would you rather have Retta as a boss, who stars in the movie? True. Um, or Lorne Michaels? No. In a way, I'd love to have both of them as bosses. Sure. Because, like, Lorne is kind of, like, tough and seasoned. But then Retta, I feel like, would be just like, you did a good job. <laughs> yeah, right. And I like that, too. I like those in equal parts. Yeah. <laughs> so we know that you have um, an extreme distaste of bidets. Yes, this so, is true. <laughs> would you rather uh, use a bidet or a porta potty? Uh, bidet. I'm like I have a strong sniffer, so sure. the smells <laughs> are tough for me. So I would take a little squirt in the bum <laughs> for a. Is that too nasty? No. I would take a little squirt in the bum as we... opposed to a sniff and then the snoot. Ew! What's <laughs> happening sniff to this? And snoot. <laughs> um, I mean, that's fair. Okay, good. Be married to Donald Trump or mm. Ted Cruz? I mean, just die, I guess. Yeah, so you like, just die? <laughs> Make out with Tom Schwartz or Tom Sandoval? Tom Schwartz. Yeah, all right. All well, day, every day. Ryan Gosling as a dad or Drake as a dad? Ooh, tough question. There are different kinds of dads, you know? Like, I feel like Drake is like kind of like party dad. Yeah. And Ryan Gosling is probably like really nice, sweet, like thoughtful dad. Right. Maybe Drake, but I really love Ryan Gosling and he was one of my favorite hosts ever. I mean, I guess the third option is like you could have two dads. This is America. Hell you know, yes. You know, the Drake and uh, Ryan I'll Gosling. I'll wave my pipe cleaners <laughs> yeah. to that. Um, okay, so this is, I think, ideally gonna be the hardest question. Okay. But I don't know you. I don't know your heart. You, you know, know me, you know yeah. me. So, would you rather uh, work as a personal assistant mm -hmm. to the most high-maintenance celebrity guest you've ever had on Saturday Night Live? Okay. Um, or be the guy on TMZ TV who's always drinking a big golf next to Harvey Levin? 
maybe the big gulp guy? <laughs> just because at least he's just like not thirsty. The other one sounds like a lot of work. Right. Ah! <laughs> Please tell me. <laughs> Please tell me you got that. That was so magical. <laughs> this is the best interview I've ever done. Oh, no.